Samuele Longo, another loan with solid stats to his name, Samuele could be the goal scorer we need for promotion. And soon after season 1, I'm sure Inter will loan him out again. For the 12th time. Now, before I actually get into any of the transfers, let me just talk about how difficult it was to find good Italian prospects in the Serie B. Or even the Serie A. It was absolutely impossible. Almost every good prospect is on loan. I honestly just wonder, how do Serie A clubs manage their youth? So we have many players including star prospect Luigi Bocconi. Some say he could be the next Di Natale even at 16. I advise you to give him a couple of matches this season. Hmm. I like him. And he deserves to show what he's got. Loan him out to Milano City in the Serie D. At just 18 years old, 66 rated, with a potential of 84, you wonder to yourself, how truly broken is this game? It just leaves Lolo for dead, he then leaves it for Di Gaudio. Behind the defender, once again with the room, and Sotil takes the shots. Um, there are those uh, shooting stats again. Benevento. I'm just a bit curious about that club badge. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just the witch in the middle of the badge. Is that a witch? I don't know. Hold on a second. So apparently, according to Wikipedia, they are nicknamed the Sorcerers. See, last time I checked, I agreed to play in the Serie B, not fight my f***ing Quan Chi. Start! Finish! Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. New record! And Fiordalino is obviously gonna finish that one. It's 1-0 one to Venezia just like that. Empoli. Oh no. Empoli. Yeah, I can't escape this, can I? 58 minutes played, it's Lungo threading it out to Sotil, and Sotil out for the races, beats out Antonelli, and passes it to Capello all by himself, and well... Empoli, Empoli. Please, 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 no! 54 minutes into the second half, it's the sensei on the ball. Okay, he was never gonna score from there. Don't, e don't even be optimistic. Attack for Venezia now. Vaca frees a Lolo all by himself. Salernitana, it's way over the injury time added here as it's going into four minutes of injury time, even five. Lakicevic with a good tackle here, but what's this? That's apparently a foul. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but you know, there is one thing about Italy it's the fact that those refs are. When the moon hits your eye, you. To Tutino, Tutino, out to Buonia. What the f is that name? Last opportunity for Kievo here, it's dealt with pretty easily by Venezia, but then uh, Molinaro wants to give the ball away. Kievo with, well, a little attack of their own, and their first shot goes in. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, they were not going to give up that easily, even if they are last place in the league, but it's Falsinelli. <laughs> Trying to see if there's anyone in the box, finds Longo in the box, takes the shot, it's saved. And then that's apparently a foul. And not only that, it's a yellow card. Man, these refs really be getting when the moon hits your eye. Doesn't reflect that whatsoever, but it's Zuccolini, a great timed through ball to Monichello. Monichello completely misses the net. Four minutes later, another chance for Venezia. It's Zuccolini this time to Monichello, great ball to Lolo, and he takes the shot. 
Once again, Venezia not stopping this bombardment of attacks here. It's Lolo once again turning his defender, and once again, the keeper saves it. About like two minutes later, another chance for Venezia. It's Lorenzo Lolo, this time threading it out to Fiorellino. Fiorellino takes the shot, and once again, it is saved by the keeper. Into the 19th minute, it's Fiorellino to Lolo, threading it to Monichello who takes the shot. And you thought we were done? Of course not. It's Lorenzo Lolo once again. What's he gonna do? He's gonna take it again. And miss it. Juve Stabia. It's simple. If we win, we win the league. Yeah, so, um, I think the party's gonna have to wait. 2-0 down. It's Creamy on the ball. Now Creamy trying to see if he can find anyone in the box. Runs away from Armini. Crosses it in for an open Set Dembrini. And Set Dembrini celebrates in the best way possible by staring at one of his teammates through the goal. So in our first season, the board supplied us with about 3 million. So it would only make sense for them to maybe give us a boost. F you! Shut the f up! Your dick is small! Alessio. Riccardi. So let's get one thing straight. This, this is absolutely not it, Chief. Well, this is the day, his debut. Day, big day for him. the blazing pace that he has he can easily do something here he cuts inside passes it to capello and it hits the post now 60 minutes played another chance for venezia it's fiordolino fiordolino threads it to lolo lolo then passing it to capello and capello all you gotta do is just finish it here how is this even possible to demayo to nestrovsky and nestrovsky is gonna take a shot it's a pretty good save, once again, by Lazzarini. I swear, to this day, of me writing up this script and voicing over all this stuff, I have no idea how we didn't concede in this match. Wait, I got it. Conspiracy theory. Could Lazzarini be a product of a Donnarumma cloning facility in Milan? Tune in next time on the History Channel. It's not over yet. You thought it was over? No, of course it's not. It's Yusuf Mali to the sensei. To the 69th minute now, Capello breaks away from the back four, running away from all of them. He just has the keeper to beat, takes the shot, and it's saved. Now, it is Geiger just running by himself. He just is absolutely ignoring everyone else, goes right towards the wing, and then he crosses it in. Modolo, pay attention! It's okay though, because we still did grab one win, and that was against Crotone, but I mean, um, look at Crotone right now. I, I think anyone can beat Crotone at this point. Oh, it just keeps getting worse. It just, it didn't have many chances, but it did have this one. It's Fiorellino to Riccardi. Riccardi then passing it to Capello. It's a great ball somehow finding Capello. And oh my god, oh my god, a new hope. We could possibly beat Milan? Nope. And going to extra time, it's Gulam. He runs towards the defenders. He passes it to Lozano. Lozano then passing it back to Gulam, leaving Gulam with some space. <laughs> played Lazio continuing their onslaught of basically trying to murder us on this pitch as it's Lazzari. He passes it to Villa Libre and Villa Libre takes the shot. Well, you can just tell we're f And now they have the ball back. Fine pass from Gonzalo Higuain. Game over here! And another penalty. And so Teal to bury this one and give us the lead. Nope. Nope. You're on your own team. I'm done. I'm done. Done. Grotone. Now all I'm gonna say is that there's a reason why this club only has four points after 30 matches.
Oh, and welcome to the Youth Academy. It's um, it's not that great, but we do have one player. But we'll get to him in a second. First off, Marco Rossi. At least he has a maximum potential of 80. That's that's really the only thing I can say. Giuseppe Marino. There's really nothing to say about this guy. Andrea Ricci. He's gotten worse. Minutes play. Bologna on the attack once again. Sansone to Orsolini. Santander back to Orsolini. Come back, Orsolini. I miss you so much, Orsolini. I'm feeling the heat, boys. Lecce. Let's get another dub. Three minutes played. Already an attack for Venezia. It's Fiordaliso threading it to the Belgian bolt. Dylan Mbaya with just a few defenders to beat. But you think that's going to stop him? He passes it to Fiordalino, though. Then to Sotil. But then another chance in the ninth minute this time. We are completely dominating Lecce like they're absolutely nothing. And now it's Sotil leaving a defender right on his ass. And now all he has to do is either just take a shot or leave it for someone. He brings it to Fiordalino and once again... Somehow we still haven't scored. But don't worry guys, I'm still feeling the heat. It's Mbayo to Fiordalino, back to Dylan Mbayo, and Dylan Mbayo, whoop, right past the defender, right past everyone, takes the shot, and once again, it's another save. But this wasn't gonna stop us. We still just continue to bombard the attacks. It's Sotil once again on this wing, and what's he gonna do this time? He turns the defender like nothing, tries to take it himself, and it's turned off the post. Are you serious? Can you please just let me score in this game? We go into the 63rd minute where finally, just maybe, Venezia will actually score a goal. It's Fiordaliso this time. He passes it to Fiordalino. Fiordalino, please. Oh my god, just kill me! But it's fine though, I'm still feeling the heat. It's gonna be... I mean, I don't know about you guys. I know there's a very huge gap between the Serie B and the Serie A, but my god, man. You didn't even win one match. How did you even promote? Dear Saudi government, my name is Maxwell. And I manage a club in Italy called Venezia FC. We are based in the beautiful city of Venice. Talent that is on the verge we of We all know great. you are buying Newcastle United for lots of money and plan to make them the biggest club in the Please world. Buy our you club. know what they say, double the purchase, double the improvement of your image. Am I right? Love, Maxwell. That's for Venezia off the counter-attack in the 21st minute. Not good enough to play for this club. To go! Youth Academy review. Oh wait, hold on. All right, that's better. There's one thing certain in life. Venezia conceding three goals against Lazio. F*** off! Empoli's back. Empoli. Come on, guys. We're literally better than this team. Empoli. I literally can't escape, can I? Defensive line brings it to Wu Lei, and Wu Lei with a very unique cross to Fratesi, and Davide Fratesi wins it for Sassuolo. I'm sure Jack's happy about this. Sit down, relax. Let me tell you a story about Dylan and Bio. Every night, the man brushes his teeth, does his normal thing, watches a Netflix series, whatever, then he goes to bed. And he always seems to dream about the destruction of Rome. God knows why, but with that being said, this man arrived on the scene once 
again. Oh, you want a sleep bay? Oh, that's fine. Just make sure you don't wake up again. Slide it past the keeper. 1-0 to Venezia. Oh, what's that? He ain't done? Of course he's not. How about a slice of top left corner pie? And over there, it was Hellas Verona once again on the attack. The counter attack. Yes, we're being out countered by Hellas Verona. And Alibek scores. 2-0 to Verona. And yes, we indeed just lost to the last place team in the league. Uh, just the easy finish. Mwah, mwah. 1 0 to Venezia, just like that. Napoli, 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 Napoli. I don't really want to edit through them, but it's Lolo on the ball. Lolo passing it to Fiorellino. Not really anything out of it, but then somehow the ball just falls to Lasagna, and Lasagna just finds the top left corner. 1 0 to Venezia. Doesn't matter how you score, it's the fact that you do score. But definitely some redemption we need. Why do I speak? Gets the ball back. Now it's Paqueta back to De Jong, who takes the shot. It's saved. They put it away. And a goal it is. The opener in this I'm just gonna re refer to this video. And hopefully we can get back into the Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. It's there for him. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. I hate this game. Galliari here. It's going to be punched out by Letzerini, and Letzerini not punching it out very far as it goes right to Zagoev, and he lifts it over Male, passing it to Romagna, Romagna, then to Konate, blocked. And Lino, to Male, Lasagna, Lasagna, threading it to Fiorellino, getting past his defender, and Fiorellino to finish it. 77 minutes played it just seemed like inter just kind of stopped attacking against this for some reason but it's ricardi once again to lasagna lasagna to male yusuf male to finish it okay how have we actually not scored we've had about four different attempts but it's so teal to lasagna i can feel this one cuts inside lasagna with just the keeper to beat In 68 minutes played, another chance, it's billing to Benassi, and Benassi finishes it. <laughs> Guys, I'm fine. Onto a lead by just expanding the lead, it's Ricardo Sotil on the wing, he then passes it to Ricardi, Ricardi to Lasagna, Lasagna just to finish it! Oh. He tries to get a through ball pass to Insigne, but Armini intercepts it to Chistana, and what does Chistana do? He f***s up when we don't need him to, for f Sake Chistana! So the board continues to screw me. We had a 3 million increase from last season after, um, I don't know, qualifying for the fucking Europa League. Brescia continue their dominance against this very weak Venezia side. I don't even want to say they're weak, but we just haven't been that great. But it's Balotelli here. You and it's Castillejo to Hernandez. Hernandez to Benacer. Benacer, great ball to Castillejo as he crosses. Can we please stop conceding against the f***ing mid-tier sides? It's not just the Italian mid-table clubs that hate us. Apparently God does too. Marco Lombardi, 65 rated, 80 to 94 potential. I mean, I've said it before, and I'm not gonna say it again. You already know what I was gonna say. Alright, buddy. It's time you go. But what did I say before, and I'll say again about 15 different times? Ah, uh, yes. Our defense. It sucks. Venezia have one of the worst defensive records among the top six. Spurs are shit. Why not sell Chistana? So Teal starts with an S. Or Armini, who have both been abysmal. Shit starts with an S. I like some of the guys that have been playing in Germany recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Musa Diabis, yeah. Rainers. What? Regardless, there's a there's a left winger they could bring in that could really be better than Sotil was. Hmm. You might even be able to sign Neymar if you're lucky. I mean, that's a bit forced. That one is. That's a bit for, that's a listen, far fetched. Listen, I, you never know. His his value seems to be decreasing all the time with the antics on social media. So he could be ah. an option. He's absolutely nothing. Then he passes it to Rangis, who gets fouled in the box. Nah, this is some bullshit. I swear to god, it's like I'm playing Mario Sunshine and I'm facing PD Piranha about three different times in the first three f-
fucking missions. And you know why I feel that? Because we are facing Napoli for the third consecutive year in the goddamn quarterfinals. Now, chance for Milan, their first attack of the match. It's Ben Acer to Silva. And now Silva's gonna get past Biraski, pass it to Blas. Blas crosses in for Chistana, who puts it in his own net. For f**k's sake, Chistana, not now! Nice defender just clearing it out only to Kessier basically though and Kessier now has the ball he hops over one of the defenders and then just I have no words I have no words Frank Yannick Kessier the tank scoring an absolute banger for Venezia FC just like that the only way we're gonna score against Juventus in this match, let's be honest here, but it's Chiesa, who, like I said before, has had a really good episode so far, and he gets past every single defender, takes the shots, and completely misses the net. The following corner whipped him by- Why are we still here? I thought the B button was supposed to clear the ball. At the end of the half, a chance for Venezia actually going over the added time, but Pulisic getting past Melendo, and now he passes it to Fiorellino. Through ball to Lasagna. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. In order to achieve my goal of getting two new players, I needed to sell at least one player. Ah, perfect timing. Someone is willing to do business with us. Hello to you, sir. We would like David Birashi for 13.7 million. I like your ambitions, but 18.5 million sounds a bit better to me. Sorry, we cannot do that. 13.7 million is our- Listen here, buddy. I don't have time for this bullshit. You came here into my office wanting one of my players, and your negotiating skills shows how truly sad your existence really is. So here's the deal. You're gonna pay the 15 million for Bidaski, and if you dare deny this, I have one of my guns to take care of you, and I'm sure you don't want them. So we gonna deal? Y yes, sir. Please don't hurt me. Good. What a fantastic way to start the season. I'd rather not talk about this match. Also, I couldn't give less of a f about the UEFA Super Cup. The last chance for Roma to find a winner here is now Chetin, another Turkish winger, crossing it in for Dennis. <laughs> Nothing personal, Brescia. I'm just angry. Drop it. Spanik. He takes aim. And they've only gone on a messy play here as Chelsea get the ball and now it's Emerson Romano gets a tackle Giuseppe Colombo great fake shot gets right past the defender then in their own half now another chance for there's still a long way to go but it's a step in the right direction with this goal Alex what the hell was that you guys notice anything different in this academy yeah, that's right. It's fucking Thanos. Now on the ball. To Moise Keane. Moise Keane with a great turn, but he just misses the net completely. Will he play you those songs just the way that I... Three minutes played. AC Milan now on the attack one. Valerio Romano on the edge of the box. He passes it back to Riccardi. Riccardi just passes it to Moise Keane. Great vision by him. And it's 1-0 to Venezia just like that. How about that, Empoli? Get <laughs> As he goes into the box. It's a fucking brain dead it's fucking time to go! No. And as a result, it's a red card for the defender. And here Alright, so these next two matches are against lower table sides. And it'd be kind of boring just to commentate over them. So, uh... Here's a montage, I guess. Ciao. E benvenuto alla seconda puntata di Val de Inter, la nostra cagna. Another chance for Roma, as it's Cengiz Under on this right wing, he decides to cross it in. I'll show you the highlights of the matches nonetheless. It's Tomal Lemar whipping in a corner, and here is a punch out by the keeper, and what's this? Oh, well that would be Denzel Dumfries on the floor. Is he going to get up? Is he, uh... Oh, f 
fun. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, it's bad. Extra time now and a chance for AC Milan to kick it off as it's Bakita all by himself and now Bakita is just gonna take it from way out. Ashraf Hakimi. I don't got time for injuries, man. Splash the cash. Passed it to the sensei. Lombardi, great turn. Back to... Like Dominguez dispossessed by Zaniolo, and now Armini has to recover it, and he ends up just fouling Zaniolo. Right outside the box. So, uh, you know, it's, it's the free kick again. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do? Chiesa, and now Chiesa tries to cut inside, he passes it to Paolo Dybala, it's safe, but then off the rebound, it's Paolo Dybala once again scoring. 1-0 to Venezia FC, just like That's cute. They're absolutely amazing. He's protecting it well. Two hours later. Two thousand years later. Over the touchline for a throw in. What the hell was the point of that? Chance for Milan? No, actually, it's Romano intercepting that one, and this just creates a possible counterattack. It's Venezia, it's Giuseppe Colombo, the star boy. All he has to do is beat Donnarumma right here, right now. And to confirm that absolute beauty, here it is. Also, <laughs> just look at Locomotive Moscow for a second. Negative 25 goal differential. They conceded 27 goals. They, they scored two against us, but let's let's ignore that. Which he does, but then he gets pulled in the box. That probably was a dive, but nonetheless, a penalty against his former club. Wow, what a waste of time. And welcome to the third installment of Making Inter Our Bitch. Four minutes played as Kevin Lasagna with the ball. This time he sees the run by Riccardi, finds him, and now Riccardi. Existence is something I no longer yearn for. The world is my canvas, and I am merely the hole punched in the canvas. A black hole sucking me in. Following corner now, it's Simon receiving it, and now he gets tackled by Riccardi, but then Simon gets it back, crosses it in far post for Conti. Yeah, it looks safe, bro.